hi there After Effects folks, we're doing a little uh, bit of puppet pin tool here and I've just created this animation, let me just um, turn these layer controls off so you can see, uh, shall layer controls, turn them off, and we've got little, there we go, I've done a little puppet pin tool animation with some nice shadows, so let's just go back, uh, turn these back on, and you can see them there, so let's just do Start from scratch, let's do a new composition. That's all good. I'll call this Puppet 2. Puppet 2, there we go. Okay, and in here we've got uh, just a little stock kind of puppet image I downloaded. Let me just drag that in the middle there. There he is. Okay, so um, what I want to do is animate this chap. And I'm going to attach using the pick whip to create some expressions. Uh, those little strings to his arms uh, so we'll do that next so first of all um, this won't work unless the layer is the same size as the composition because when we attach the strings to the arms it'll kind of throw them off uh, so I'm going to start just by taking this layer and just pre-compose it I'm going to call this puppet man there we go now this will work nicely so the first thing I'm going to do is take my puppet pin tool and add some points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And maybe one there to hold it all together in the middle. Okay. And then um, if I hit you, I can see all the keyframes for those. So I'm just going to come forward a little bit on the timeline and set a new kind of animated state there. Maybe just do a little wiggle on the head. There we go. Maybe move that in. It's just creating a little animation there. Little move your leg up. So do, do that kind of thing. There we go. Maybe just move that. Do a little jump. Thank you. A little, little dance. Okay. And maybe have him wiggle back a little. There we go. Just create a little section two, and then just going to come for and do what, and maybe what I'll do is I'll just um, I'll just select all those, and I'll just hit another keyframe just so it stops there for a sec, so it goes to there, stops, and then at two seconds I'll do another set of movements. So I'll just move it in a different way. Oh, do a little splits so. though. As you say, just not really thinking much about this, just doing some, just give him some movement. Okay, so we got a poof. That's fine for our purposes. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to create uh, some strings. Now, um, the problem is, I could use the mask and the stroke effect, um, but then I'd have to sort of uh, keyframe all that, all that myself, because um, what I want is an expression to, for the position. You'll see what I mean. And when I do this, uh, because if I do a mask, I don't have the position. Um, I can only have a mask path, and it doesn't have an XY position for one end of the mask. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Layer, New, Solid, Okay, doesn't matter what colour, and I'm going to put the beam effect on this, and um, I'm going to make the length 100%, and I'm going to change the colours all to black, all black, there we go, make the uh, softness zero, and maybe make the, oh, this is popular tonight, there we go, and make the thickness two so we've got a nice thin line maybe make it three this time there we go all right so i'm then going to take the start point i'm going to put put that at the top around here and the end point well what i'm going to do for that is i'm just going to open up my puppet pin tool here puppet man and i want to uh just click on there i want to find out what that one is so click on that and that's puppet pin six so it's going to go back to here and I'm going to go to my ending point. I'm going to alt click on that to open up the expressions. 
I'm going to pick with the position for the ending point, drag it down. Here we go. There we go. Drag it all the way down to puppet pin six. Click it on there. Click there. And now we've got. Okay. So now what I can do is I can take this beam and I can uh, duplicate this. And I can take the starting point here and put it say there. Now we're not seeing the beam yet because this one's kind of writing over it. But if I click on composite on original, we'll get both back. So that's all good. Now, um, if I hit EE, e, e, I can see the expressions there. So I'll just go to my puppet man here and I'll click on that. And I can see that that one is puppet pin five. So I can just, I could pick with it again, but an easy, simple way to do it is just change puppet pin six to puppet pin five. And there we've got, okay. So I can just repeat this process again. Beam two, command D to duplicate. Starting point, I'll move that one over there. And then I'm just gonna click on the puppet man. Uh, click there, so that one is puppet pin nine. So I'm just gonna click here, EE, e, show me all my expressions. Change that one to nine. So that was attached to there, and then, okay, you get it, got to command D, duplicate this one more time, move that one over here, and then click on my puppet man, find out which one this is, and that's 10, and just hit EE e again, and that final one will change to puppet pin 10. There we go, so we've now got And the great thing is, if I make any more animations, so let's just uh, maybe maybe take all these and just uh, move forward again a little bit, add another keyframe just so it stays still and come forward. And now we'll do, do a, a third animation, so we'll, we'll move this about. So what, what you get is when you move it, the strings stay with our puppet points. So they'll always be attached now. So we don't have to do a long complicated animation animating strokes and paths and masks and all this. We've kind of used the beam tool as an alternative. Well, it's not beam at all, but we've used it in a different way. That's the great thing about After Effects. You can always find a way to use the effect in a different way to the way it was intended. So now we've got this. Okay. So I've finished my animation on that. And I want to add some backgrounds. So let's go to layer, new, solid. Let's choose a little different colour this time. Let's choose a nice sort of darkish red. Something like that. Let's make it quite. There we go. And I'm going to make that 3D. And I'm just going to go to my custom view, which is a nice, easy way to do it. And I need to also make my Puppet Man 3D. And I'm going to push him back behind the Puppet Man. There we go. And then when we go back to Active Camera, we'll see it's a bit too small. There we go. Where's our, where's our Puppet Man gone? There he is. Drop him on top. There we go. Let's refresh that, and then we'll uh, we'll be lose it. We'll lose these a little bit, but we'll get these back. We'll just bring these up on the top as well. Go to our active camera, and then we're going to scale up the background. Scale that up to fill the background. It can be bigger. And then let's duplicate this layer. Command D, hit R for rotation. Do the X at ninety, like that, and then I'll just turn this one off so I can see what we're doing. Pull this one down until it sort of touches the feet there. And then maybe just also hit S for scale. And we could just scale that one up. Just drag these. So it makes a floor. So it fills the whole thing. Let me drag that out. Okay. So we've got that. And then when we put a light on, layer, new light. Let's do a nice 
let's do a spotlight let's have cast shadows maybe diffusion about 10 50 percent try that okay so we're getting so we can angle this down a bit create a kind of nice sort of staging effect and then we just need to go to this layer here our puppet man layer and we can turn that on and we can go down to the bottom material options and put cast shadows on so we get some nice shadows here now one thing we haven't got are any shadows on the strings but if you want those we could um if i make this layer 3d it's not going to work because it's 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 trying to take um it will the the effect itself the beam effect won't generate shadows um but if i pre-compose this layer and make it 3d um it will cast shadows but here's a problem so i'm going to go to layer pre-compose and then oh, we'll get a bit of an expressions error because we've lost the connection there so what i'm simply going to do is take our puppet man duplicate that copy and um, take both layers go to layer pre-compose them both together i'll call this strings so both together that and make that 3d and then go into here material options put cast shadows on and now we've got shadows for there and i can even go into this layer and i could turn puppet man off so we're not having to render two instances of puppet man there we go Keep it. and there we got a nice simple animation i'll turn the view i'll just turn the layer controls off so we can see it without lights and hey presto and there we go nice puppet animation with the puppet pin as a light and the beam effect so uh, as always with after effects just play about see what you can come up with and uh, happy after effects in Cheerio!